I are here today cooking for wellness. Actually, we're not cooking today. We are talking about drinking and rethinking your drink. And really, we want to figure out how we can drink more water. The, the best thing you can do for yourself is drink water, right? Absolutely, yeah. But sometimes it's hard. Um, sometimes you just want a little something more than just plain water. So we're doing all we can to help you find ways to add more water into your life, to rethink your drink so you're getting more water. So what are we gonna do first, um, Sydney? So we've got some different options over here for you. Now I did go ahead and prepare this ahead of time. This is also one of our Med and Santa Meds recipes that we um, teach in our program. And this is a citrus cucumber water. So it just has one orange, one lime, and one cucumber. You throw it in your water. And if you want it to have just a little bit of flavor, so think about if you were to just add a little bit of a lemon wedge to your water, you could drink it right away. To me, it's best if it's sat for a few hours yeah. um, or even the next day. So this, I did just make it right before, but you see how pretty it is. This is something that I think is great too for if you're having a, a gathering, if anybody's coming over, you have some type of event, you can make this look really pretty and make kind of a fancier water. There's um, something to be said for that, to making, yeah. to drinking out of a pretty glass or making it look really nice and refreshing if the thought of plain water is not appealing. Um, to you and don't be shy you know I, I've had added mint um, lemon ginger I love to keep ginger in the freezer so you could shred it into yeah. water again it makes a very pretty um, you know pitcher full of water and it, it's smelling delicious it yeah really smells Honestly, the mint so fresh smells so good. right here so um, throw any kind of fruit that you like into your water you know we call it spa water yeah, so make it your own, whatever you um, enjoy. Think of different combinations that you could add. Strawberries are in season. Um, we do have a strawberry mint water on our Med and Santa yeah. website. And I'll that remind you that, oh yeah, the strawberries and the mint and strawberries and spinach, strawberry salad is um, hot on the menu now. Actually, yeah. number one, Med instead of Meds, another program is coming up starting May. Yes, May 26th. Um, the day after Memorial Day, yeah, and it's all virtual, so it'll be from your comfy spot at home um, to, to hang out with us. It's only going to be five weeks, um, but it'll be twice a week. Twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 2 p.m. Yep, at 2 p.m. Or you can watch it at your leisure. Um, right. The video. Yeah, um, so they're all recorded. So be sure you touch base with the Wellness Center or the Extension Office if you are interested in signing up. Reach back out to us. Um, okay, and so what is next? We've got a delicious just water, healthy spa water option. Yep, so if you're just not a fan of plain water and you want a little something extra, you can do that. Our other option, so we a lot of times we might gravitate towards sodas. You just want something fizzy. Yes, so um, just to talk about that for a minute, we have showed you guys um, last or a couple weeks ago how much sugar we should actually be having a day. So this is for women and children. This is about six teaspoons. This is for men, and this is nine teaspoons. This is in a day. This is how much is rec or recommended for you to have in a total day. It's not suggested for you to have any more than this. This should be your maximum. So you should always be looking, how can I get away from the sugar? How can I find another option that doesn't have added sugar in yeah. it? And for like context, some of these sodas. a lot of times when we look at these, these labels, it's gonna tell you it in grams. So the amount for that, this would be 24 grams that women and children should have a day. Men should have around 36 grams a day. That's so an important fact to remember. Let's compare that with some Let's of do. our sodas. So here we have a Mountain Dew, and this has 70, 77 grams of sugar. That's almost, that is more than three times the daily recommended amount for women and children. You drink this drink and you haven't even had one bite of food and you have way overloaded yeah. the sugar recommendation. So similar to that, we've got a Coke here and this has 55 grams of sugar in it. So you can see down here how much that actual sugar um, yeah. 
looks like in a bottle. And don't be fooled. Dark sodas, light sodas, they're all the same. Some people yeah. think the light soda is a little better than the dark. It is not. It is all loaded with added sugar. This um, one, it, it fools you a little bit. And um, if we look at our serving size, it uh, says two. So that tricky. means if you drank this whole bottle, you'd actually be drinking two servings. So you need to double all of the ingredients in that Nutrition Facts label. So you might see that this has, um, it has 33 grams of sugar. And you're like, oh, that's not that bad. That's, it, that's better than grams. this. But hey, you have to double it. So this yeah. is really 66 grams total of sugar in that bottle. It's really tricky out there, the way they mislead us and the way they, um, they market these products. Um, it's really yeah. difficult to find a healthy option and sometimes you think you're making a healthy choice, like with the Gatorade. Yeah, and so this actually is two and a half um, servings per container. So think about if you are giving your child um, a Gatorade after a workout. a workout, and let's say the workout was playing outside. Not really something where it's strenuous back and forth. Um, maybe something like soccer, where you are continuously running for an hour, hour and a half two hours, depending on the game. Um, possibly they could maybe need some electrolytes, but really the best thing would be water. Yes. So this isn't necessarily a healthy choice. Um, this actually has 21 grams, but times two and a half. So that would be 42 plus about 50 60. to 60 yeah. grams of sugar. I put 13 teaspoons. I measured this ahead of time. So remember, you're only supposed to have between six and nine teaspoons a day. This has 13 in your Gatorade. And I will tell you, once I learned about this, um, cut it with water, ice cold water, and yeah. a splash of Gatorade. If you feel like you need that flavoring or you need um, you know, to be replenished, a splash, a, a splash goes a long way. We're not saying you should go pour out everything, but, but just be mindful about how much sugar you're getting yeah. and other options, other healthier options for you. And I grabbed this one as well. This kind of goes along with the drink we're gonna be making, but you might see this and think, oh, well, this is like an orange juice drink. This is healthier for me. It's not considered a soda. Well, if we look at this, it only contains 1% juice. And then as far as the ingredients, um, the second ingredient is high fructose corn syrup and the amount of sugar in the whole bottle is 67 grams. It's so, so misleading. It's, it's not fair. You know, that looks refreshing. That looks like it's a healthier choice, but truth be told, it's really not any better than a soda. Um, yeah. And to give you some context, I, I would much rather prefer to eat this bar of chocolate with almonds. And this has, um, it has 19 grams of sugar, 17 grams of added sugar. So only 17 grams in this, still a lot, right? So still almost half of what we're supposed to have an entire day from a chocolate bar, but it's not, it's less than what we're supposed to have a day, whereas these are three, two and three times the amount we should have an entire day in one thing. So just think about that, choose wisely when we are uh, making our beverage choices. We're, we're really not saying eat this candy bar instead of this. We just wanted to, to in context for comparison's sake, to show you um, there's so much sugar added in sodas. Yes. So um, to go along with that, we have a healthy spritzer drink. If you want something that will be um, a little bit more uh, spizzy. spizzy, yeah, th that's what you need. So here we have a club soda and this is, um, you can, hear it and see it fizz up. So actually all that's in this is carbonated water. Um, so that is what helps to give it that fizz. And there's tons of things on the market now as far as um, ways that you can, you can actually buy the, the machines that make it carbonated, all of that. So, And truth be told, buying club soda is basically carbonated water. You can also buy um, fancy carbonated water or the, the flavored carbonated drinks, but you can also make your own um, for cheap and yeah. a little healthier, just a, a bit of cranberry. And so this was two thirds of a cup, and then we're gonna add one third a cup of cranberry juice. Now this is 100% cranberry juice. So um, what we know about that is that there's no added sugar. This is 100% juice. Whereas compared to that orange egg drink, it was only 1% juice. 
So we want to go with the 100% juice. Always make sure that that is what you're looking for. It should say it on the label um, and you wanna make sure there's no sugar added on top of that. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to about a cup here and just add in a little bit of ice. Oh, that looks delicious. Can we add some and lime? Then, yeah, you just wanna add a spritz of lime. Yeah. You could throw one whole wedge in there. Put a little mint umbrella on top. Yeah, make it your own. So really great fizzy drink. Um, still has some sweetness to it. And this is another one of our Med Instead of Meds recipes. So you can find these online at medinsteadofmeds.com. Find the ways to drink more water, gang. Rethink your drink. Thank y'all for joining us. Thank you.